I've just got my Canon R6 Mark II and here are five reasons why I think you should buy this camera. The first reason is because of the amazing video features you can actually find in this camera, with the main one being that you can shoot 4K up to 60 frames per second uncropped, which is downsampled from 6K, so you're getting even more higher quality 4K. All in C-Log3 10-bit 422, which is absolutely amazing for a camera like this because its rival, for example, the Sony a7 IV is an actual crop to 4K 60. So the fact that you're getting a full oversampled 6K image uncropped 60 frames per second with this camera is absolutely amazing and is actually one of the main reasons why I did actually end up buying this camera. But not only that feature, you can also shoot 4K in 25 frames per second as well, which is uncropped. And you can also shoot super slow motion 180 frames per second in 1080p, which still 1080p is great quality as long as you don't crop in too much. So the fact that you can get some real nice super slow motion with autofocus as well all in c-log 3 10 bit 422 is just absolutely amazing and is why you should buy this camera especially for video and i'm not done yet with the video features in this camera because if you have an external recorder like the ninja atomos you can actually shoot in 6k raw video with this camera which is absolutely mind-blowing the second reason why i think you should buy the canon r6 mark ii is because of the in-body image stabilization now this actually might not seem a big enough deal to a lot of you out there but if you are coming from a camera like the canon e USR, RP, you will actually be really happy that this camera has IBIS because it's actually great for both photo and video. Because for video, you can actually get some real nice stable footage when you actually are out running gunning if you haven't got a gimbal, for example. Because of the in body stabilization with this camera paired with the in image stabilization on a lens, for example, you can actually get some really smooth shots, which is amazing for running gunning. And obviously, if you do put it on a gimbal, you're going to get even more smoother footage. Paired out of the 4K 60 frames per second that you can actually get out of this camera and actually slow that down in post you can get some amazing professional smooth looking shots even without a gimbal and not just that for photos as well if you're in like a low light situation for example and your aperture is at the lowest it can be instead of bumping up your iso to actually get some grain in your photos the ibis in this camera actually allows you to actually lower the shutter speed to maybe even like one tenth of a second for example without getting much blur in the pictures at all because of how good the in-body image stabilization is in this camera. Another reason why you should buy this camera is because of the 24.2 megapixel sensor. Now that actually might not seem amazing to a lot of people out there, especially when you can get like a camera like the Canon R5 with its 45 megapixel camera. With that 45 megapixels comes very, very big file sizes. So the fact that you can actually get some super sharp photos because 24 megapixels is more than enough for anyone in 2023 without getting ridiculously high file sizes, is just great for everyone really, which means you have to spend less money on cards and less money on hard drives and SSDs as well because of the lower megapixel count. Not only that, having a lower megapixel camera actually means you can get some cleaner images in low light because the ISO actually performs better in lower megapixel sensors like the 24.2 megapixel one you can find in this camera over a camera like the Canon R5 with its 45 megapixel sensor. So for wedding and event photographers out there when you actually are dealing with like really bad lighting conditions and it's starting to get a lot darker, the Canon R6 Mark II will actually do you a lot better than the Canon R5. Another reason why I think you should get this camera and I actually think it's a huge reason as well and that's actually the ergonomics are amazing on this camera and is actually one reason why I went for Canon over Sony. I actually made a full video on this I'll actually link right here if you want to go check that out. We actually start off with the top dial it's got a really simple easy to use mode dial on the top and on the left hand side you actually have a new switch now that's actually super easy and quick to change from photo and video just by pressing this one switch. On the Canon R5 and also the EOS R, this switch here was the on off switch and now they've actually moved the on off switch to over to the right hand side of the camera which means you can actually turn this camera on and off one handed. These two changes are absolutely amazing to this Canon R6 Mark II over the original R6 and I actually think it's a really big reason why someone should actually buy it just because of the ease of use is a lot better. On the Canon R5 and the Canon EOS R to actually change it from photo to video you actually have to pick the mode dial then info then you have to hit the mode dial again to actually get it into video mode and vice versa but on this it's literally just one switch moving on to the back of the camera you have an amazing lcd screen which is fully articulating as well so you can get some nice vlogging with you as well if you actually are interested and then also on the back of the camera you have this nice little joystick here and this thumb wheel as well to actually change your aperture and just scroll through the menus a lot easier and quicker the only bad side to the actual ergonomics and the body itself is that it has a micro hdmi port which is just really bad for Canon in 2023 and it has it on all of their 
cameras, except on the Canon EOS R, which actually has a mini HDMI port. Another reason why you should buy this camera is because of the absolutely insane, best in the market at the minute, autofocus in this camera. It has the exact same autofocus as the Canon R3. It can detect people, it can detect animals, cars, and not just detect them, it can actually lock straight onto the eye of a human and an animal, and not just the eye, you can choose which eye you want to focus on. So just with a little point of the button with the joystick, you can change the eye where you want to actually focus on, and it's just absolutely unbelievable. It's super, super fast. It's so reliable. It tracks your face so well. There is honestly no reason why you shouldn't actually get the shot anymore because of how good this autofocus actually is. And if you've made it this far into the video, I first want to say thank you very much, and you've actually got a bonus tip, and that is because of the absolutely insane frames per second you can actually shoot with this camera. With the mechanical shutter, you can shoot all raw photos up to 12 frames per second with autofocus. And with the electronic shutter, you can shoot up to 40 frames per second, which is absolutely ridiculous. You can literally play it back like a movie. Obviously, you can't keep holding the shutter down for seconds on end because it is two SD cards at the end of the day, so you do have to give it time for it to like reset. However, 40 frames per second, you're literally not going to miss the shot. Pair it with that autofocus as well. One of them photos will be super sharp. One of them photos will be usable. So for sports photographers and also wildlife photographers, this camera is an absolute dream. I'm absolutely loving this camera so far. I'm so happy with it and I'm sure you will be too. If you are interested, I will leave the link in the description below for you to go buy this thing because I really, really, really do recommend you go buy this camera. Also, if you just love Canon cameras in general, why not click on this video next to actually see the insane leaked specs of the brand new Canon R5 Mark II which is meant to be coming out sometime in 2023. This camera looks absolutely insane.